now when i was in strath second year just after second year my mom was not able to continue paying for my fees the fees was really high mm-hmm. uh that time for her so and i was very devastated because imagine you're living your class you're seeing your schoolmates your college mates just yeah. you know you know unaona ni kama wewe unaachwa nyuma it's like your mark timing yeah, when people are moving yeah exactly Hi guys, welcome to the show. My name is Chapter Boy and today we have Maureen Coach who's an actress and a musician. I am so happy. Welcome to the show Maureen. Thank you. Karibu sana. Thank you. Asante. Mm-hmm. I feel good. Mm-hmm. Thank you for uh inviting me. You've been so friendly and mazo me kwa sis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is from the time because uh, I remember the, the time you actually spoke to me about this was quite a bit a long time ago kidogo yeah, I think it was last yeah, year last your time yeah, shoot, yeah. shoot uko yes, yes. Well, we'll talk more about that but yeah thank you for Karibu. having me maze Karibu sana Yeah now let's start with your background <coughs> mm-hmm. tell us a bit about your family My family so I come from a wonderful loving farmo Mhm We are we are I don't know if I if I should say are or were I think it's are because I still you know even if someone is a lost uh I don't want to say a lost soul it's like a found soul let me call it a found soul in but in a different realm mm-hmm. <laughs> I still consider them a part of the family so yeah. we are five mm-hmm. uh so my mom my dad and then uh, I have an elder brother mm-hmm. um I'm in the middle mm-hmm. lucky enough to be in the middle and the <laughs> only girl Oh wow. Uh, yeah, so then there's uh, uh, our last born who passed away in 2017. Pole Pole yes, yes, thank you for that. Uh so yeah, uh, however we I would say we are a wonderful lovely family. Of course kuna ma challenges to za kifamilia. Yeah. Mhm. Siezi sema ati things have been 100% rosy all the way from the time I was born till now. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone through challenges as a, as a family. Uh, just in terms of the family dynamic and the family relationship otherwise um overall mm-hmm. i would say god has been very any god am i to bless mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. a wonderful place to call home and wonderful people to call family wow yeah wow that's that's <laughs> such an honor yeah. now mashule ulienda gani shule mimi nilianza na apa thika road christian school like right mm-hmm. opposite safari park there is a school Yeah, yeah, opposite the Faripa Hotel kuna uh-huh. kashule like when you pita even highway main highway you can't even see it from the main highway because we only see what do you call it Kasarani Stadium. Yes. Is it next to Kasarani Stadium mama which side? Now that kabara bara of going to Kasarani Stadium look opposite. Ah. It's opposite the road going to the stadium. Okay. Uh, you okay. know that Camino Road. Now keen to look uh, out for it. it. But yeah. you'll see, I think largely you'll see a church. There's a big church which is actually my church where I'm a member. Mm-hmm. Uh but they also have a school. So mm-hmm. that's where I did my Nazari I knew myself as a human being in that, in that school. environment, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I went to Nakuru High School in Knox mm-hmm. County. County 32 I think. I've <laughs> 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 been trying to get the county numbers, some mm-hmm. county numbers, but yeah. Uh but then I came back mm-hmm. to our lovely county for 52. I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it got 47. Oh my goodness, I said 52. Yes. <laughs> Am I saying 52? 52 weeks in a year, in a year, I don't know. Anyway, 47 years, sorry. Mm-hmm. 47. Um Nikakamuku Strath, Strathmore High School. Strathmore University. Yes. Uh, to pursue I pursued mm-hmm. a bachelor mm-hmm. bachelor's degree in information technology. I Ish. know. I know. Okay, I know. communications <laughs> field. Yeah. People look at me like how is that relevant <laughs> to, to what you are? Doing. I'm like cool <laughs> it. Cool it. But um the thing is um I don't know how it it was or you know I, I for some weird for not I wouldn't say weird it's not weird when mm-hmm. opportunity and purpose finds you mm-hmm. but I would say the arts 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 found me mm-hmm. 
in high school to start with. In primary school, I wasn't really active. I was very unpopular in in primary school. Mm-hmm. I had problems with um, really connecting with some or most of my classmates. I got mm-hmm. bullied also in <laughs> primary <laughs> school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. And that was very hard for me growing up. Uh, I remember I used to come home and tell my mom. Mom, I used to be mm-hmm. get bullied by boys, not girls. Mm-hmm. I I had awesome relationships with my fellow girl, fellow girls. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to beat down on boy child by the way. <laughs> but they did it then. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just my truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was bullied by boys. About some like three or four boys. I still remember even some of their names. Mm-hmm. Uh and that really affected me as a as a as a young or an ad, as a growing let me call it teen. You know, getting into my teen years, I was very, very insecure about myself. Mm-hmm. Some of the reasons they used to bully me was my skin. My skin. When I was y- younger, when I was a kid, I used to have... My skin was uneven. It didn't have breakouts or anything. Oh. But just the color was uneven. Like mm-hmm. this one, this here was like dark brown. Here's light brown. Uh-huh. Here's like chocolate. <laughs> but not not mm-hmm. too much. Mm-hmm. But there was a but bit But they could notice they could the notice, difference. Yeah. yeah. So the... That was that I don't I can't say for sure that they made fun of me because of that mm-hmm. but for some weird reason I remember myself being very aware mm-hmm. about it because of the bullying mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and then we used to walk to school mm-hmm. uh, some sometimes like my my parents would not afford ba- bus fare. Yeah, bus, yeah. bus fare I think even most of us yeah. that time yeah. just used to walk to, used school, to walk to school or or you're in boarding school mm-hmm. I was one in of primary the two. Yeah, yeah or you oh I get it yeah. I understand mm-hmm. Yeah, but so me so for me I was nearly quite day school but nilikuwa tembea shule so sometimes when they see you walking some kids when you wanna kuja na magari ama na bus school bus they they would you know they would um, you know kuchongoa you know, some of those things it looks kiddish and it's small but for a kid it's a huge huge yeah. thing anyway I don't want to talk too much about it's you know dwell on the negative per se but i'm just trying to give a background of just my e- education uh, background my education and just how i felt myself how i knew myself how i grew to know myself so since i was very uh insecure about myself in primary school when i went to i was so excited to go out of nairobi mm-hmm. into high school mm-hmm. Because I was like, this is my chance to redefine who I am. Like, <laughs> rebrand. I, rebrand. No one knows me. No one can chongwa me. So, because I, I cannot be carried by a school, school bus. I'm a siletangu. I'm a dropi wangu. I'm a shule. I'm a gari. Private. Like, here I'm... Um, ev- everyone is uniform here. Yeah. We can be. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is I was very popular. That actually worked. Mm. I was very popular in... Uh, <laughs> in high school <laughs> in high school mm-hmm. i think the fact that i came from that space of not loving or appreciating myself i was i really wanted to undo that mm-hmm. and so i w- i did everything like i was loud mm-hmm. just and not really loud at because that is who i was i was not loud i was <laughs> timid when i was in primary but when i went to high school i was like i have to be loud so everything was so in excess exactly <laughs> and i think most most of the f- of the students in high school knew me from from 1 to from 4 like mm-hmm. i was known by this name nameless like i was nameless before i was like <laughs> 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 i used to be called nameless mm-hmm. and everyone knew most people let me just say most people in my high school knew me so i was very mm-hmm. popular mm-hmm. and f- i think somehow maybe that could contrib- that contributed to um you know arts is arts is very social mm-hmm. There's a way arts just it finds people or it gets to people or it works it really works well with people who are out there people who are social and I'm not saying you you, you can be an anti so you cannot be an anti, like um mm-hmm. um when I say mangaji or not optimi- optimist pessimist like when you're larger than life then mm-hmm. when you come in mother sana and itangwaje those two different types ah. of personalities when you when you what is it called extrovert introvert, extroverted exactly. and introverted yes yes so uh, i'm not saying that you cannot be an artist if you're introverted i actually mm-hmm. consider myself uh, more of an introvert myself cuz mm-hmm. like remember what I, what i said yeah i started out as an introvert then the extrovertedness that i played out in high school ilikuwa created, created by created yourself by, yeah cuz I'm, I'm i'm wanting to get out of this cuff 
you know this 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 space in my my mental space whereby i felt downgraded and mm. you know so yeah so i think that kwa hiyo ku play out your extrovertedness i think it can ifanya ni nianze kupenda arts drama ni kaingia drama club Uh, and i think it wasn't even me who took myself i think it's someone who saw me like hmm who you wanna can can ana ji brand kuna vile me ji brand so i think they would do well in drama club because yeah. you know you know when when you're in high school all this um uh, um heads of heads of clubs they they're looking for yeah certain students apparently who can get from one they hunt eh, they hunt see, yeah, eh, they one, hunt yeah. Yeah. clubs business clubs you don't know which club now me i think there's a lady who saw me that you'll do well in drama clubs so i went mm-hmm. and i mean tukafanyezi stories of music mm-hmm. and we were doing going to you know different schools and competing mm-hmm. um and after nearly talk a high school the funny thing actually is um back then Arts was not well regarded. Mm-hmm. It wasn't seen as something. It's something pursue. you do in school and leave it there. Leave it. It's an it's a Thank it's an experience exactly. not to be taken seriously. <laughs> like you couldn't even say it better. What? <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. So, um I remember even the 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 school um I wouldn't say the the, the, the actual like the, the title of the of the teacher. Mhm but they would see it as a waste of time and yet it's a club in the yeah. school for some reason but high school teachers just to, used to see like your club ni watu wamearibika eh, watu, watu wapendi masomo eh, <laughs> to make it worse some of these things that we would do drama music whatever um, competitions and what not it mm-hmm. would happen when it's class time yeah, yeah like not everything used to happen after hours like at no. from 4 5 no some some of these things used to happen like when we were going for music nini asubuhi we are shipping out, out. Yeah. we're leaving people to study so and that was the only person in my class um, i remember in form 2 the only person in drama mm-hmm. so everyone used to look at me like mm. Like really you don't want to stay and read she said corporate now we see us people you know we are studying you go and the funny thing is <laughs> most drama people used to come and beat the ones who never used to do any That activities true. Yeah, it's true it's true we used to like it it's it's just i don't know um I don't know it's part of you know purpose is something very powerful when god gives you a purpose and he knows you're meant to do it of course you'll go through challenges i went through very various challenges even in that high school because of me being in drama because now for instance i used to get accused there's a time i was actually suspended from school and <laughs> that attachment to being in drama was a part of like my the teachers seeing me as when uni mrui number one i said equal ako drama ah uni mrui ni kweli So I mean led to my suspension but it wasn't really the cause for the suspension wasn't the the real real cause for my me being suspended um nio kuwekelewa oh this one did wewe ulionekana nani nani alisema ulionekana like this yes say yes say yes say manenos but anyway rose above it uh finished my high school nicely went to nipata be mine i think na bado alikuita mrui nipata be mine mrui wanakwanga wadina si bana wakiendelea huko chini nipata be mine i was very happy with my grade but no no sorry i got a b b yeah i should have oh, got a b that's still even this is even good. better yeah it's still very good <laughs> uh, considering i got a d for my mock i failed mock because of that suspension thing because now when you're coming from everyone fails mock Hey mock ni ni bana mock jamii. Why god who got you know, nowadays mock. kids they don't do mock. Yeah. Yeah because some uh, a lot of kids were getting pressure some mm. th- that's when that period is when they were burning schools mm. and getting sick. So I think mock was removed. It's no longer mock. Yes. So this new generation guys. <laughs> Oh my mm-hmm. goodness I think now in the university you did uh, information and technology as you've said yes. uh, was it a course you chose by yourself or is it those ones of parent parents directing you towards the course um no for me when it comes to what I pursued in uh, Kole BBIT 
My parents have always been supportive uh, in regards to the course that I wanted to do. They never pressured me and you have to go do medicine. You have mm-hmm. to go by bachelor of law and statistics mm-hmm. and information to apana. They were always like just whatever you feel you want to do just go do. Mm-hmm. But now me, I was the most confused individual mm-hmm. um graduate high school graduate mm-hmm. out there cuz i nimetoka kumbuka nime nimefanya drama mm-hmm. i'm looking at the courses in in high school there's no there's no there's, there's no in fact i remember when you're choosing uh the, these courses bachelor of arts drama is of it was a film nini zilikuwa like uko mwisho mhm mhm yeah the first the placing the uko juju ni statistics statistics eh ndangoje hizo mam statistics mathematics those ones nini that eh hey, hizo mm-hmm. of course doctorates and uh, all these good mm-hmm. stuff sciences chemistries and what not uko chini ndio sasa kuna sijui bachelor of education na arts juu na nini so um i'm not saying necessarily just because it is the last it means it's not the most it was not the most valuable but coupled with the fact that it is it was again not as well regarded in the in the you know it was space to your academics mm-hmm. arts was and, not and regarded. even employment and employment yeah. arts was not regarded it was not even looked at as a career it wasn't mm-hmm. too up you ilikuwa tu ni umefail oh uko chini basi unaweza fanya a b unaweza fanya arts <laughs> fanya drama mm-hmm. eh, nini like mm-hmm. um so i knew for sure that was not an option mm-hmm. i wanted to do it mm-hmm. i think looking back i wanted to do it mm-hmm. so i wanted to so nilikuwa naangalia okay ama nifanye fashion because now fashion was it was a bit Closer. higher yeah eh mm-hmm. fashion ilikuwa mm-hmm. unajua fashion unaona ni kama but even, you still even sometimes catering mm-hmm. is a bit higher, uh-huh. higher. <laughs> people can see you yes. what you're doing mm-hmm. yeah. so Now me I'm looking I'm looking I think I registered to go and do animal was it husband mm, residue what is all yeah 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 in yeah, 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 yeah. university of As Nairobi yeah hey, in mm-hmm. now me I didn't even know cuz mm-hmm. me niliona bio oh biomedical technology sorry uh-huh. biomedical technology but you know it's not a bad course mm. but it was a bad course for it you it was a bad course for me that's yeah. the thing and I was I chose it literally because of the name it sounded good but, I kid you not <laughs> Bachelor of Science Biomedical Technology. I'm like, you know sound poor. Nikufanya. Mm-hmm. Kwenda kwa atiku now register. Mpaka nikaitwa registration come register uh, you've re- we paid for the registration fee. We were called now. Kwenda kuuliza ni nini? Ati ni dealing with animals due to what I'm like what do you care that day my mom is looking at me to make to make what kwapo hivyo nikamwambia mama kama umeturudi nyumbani i was yeah you was back we came back uh-huh. we went again to jquart mm-hmm. and i registered now for it just plain it mm-hmm. and i actually registered again paid for the registration mm-hmm. fee later on again i refused mm-hmm. i knew no this was not it mm-hmm. something because of that confusion because of, of that not confusion knowing of cuz mm-hmm. i'm like what do i do i know what i want to do but i can't do it cuz it's not seek it of see if i could pass through arts cuz see your job see your yeah. career mm-hmm. niki to do mm-hmm. <laughs> so later on i started think, thinking to myself that time it was like really really mm-hmm. okay, kukua, Picking a up, thing yeah. yeah so i was like okay this uh, it maybe i can go back and do it Uh, but let me combine it with right, like business so i did business in it because you apply business in it in almost literally every single yes. space whether mm-hmm. it's journalism whether it's animal husbandry that mm-hmm. one agriculture mm-hmm. it has to be there applies mm-hmm. so i was like let me do that mm-hmm. as i figure myself out yeah so thankfully my mom was like okay now you i want you to go and pursue in a nice place where you My mom has always been this lady of she wants quality education. Mm-hmm. So even mm-hmm. when I went to um uh, J Quart she's like, "Hi, wewe unataka kuku? Unataka hapa kweli na hii ni sinyi drama yako ulikuwa unafanya huko. You know I was suspended at that. So she wanted to get me a, s- a quote, serious, serious institution. institution. Mm-hmm. Ni sende mahali sijui ni haribiki ama ni nini because now for her she's looking at me in terms of wewe since ulipata suspension your own probation type thing so she wants to take me in a very 
No, you know, Strathmore is you can you that mm-hmm. time I don't know about now, but I, th- I you can you you wear official. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I think it's still it's the a same. Serious institution, mm-hmm. so yeah. So and she just loved the you know the quality work on a quality education in mm-hmm. a quality brand. So I went. Mm-hmm. And I did my first year, my second year. Second, when I was in second year, that's mm-hmm. the time when um no, actually I joined I now joined thankfully I man, I, I I I found that they had a drama club mm-hmm. in Strathmore. Oh wow. I was so happy. Mm-hmm. I was so thankful because I knew I Maybe this is the reason why I came here because Sapa Kunave they had a very serious um, drama society. They stage plays mm-hmm. at Allianz to date, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, so th- it's a serious, it's a serious uh, group. So I joined. I couldn't really join. Mm-hmm. Did some few plays. Then eventually, someone came and uh, told us told told us about an audition for Changing Times. Mm-hmm. That time, Changing Times was like the biggest thing. Oh yes, huge! It was a yeah. huge show. It was a huge, huge, huge show. And uh, it was a game changer in its own way. Mm-hmm. So, did uh, audition for Ch- uh, Changing Times. I got the r- the the role. My first professional audition. I got the role. Mm-hmm. So that was special. And yeah, kutoka hapo sasa ni lies and bind. I ah. say the rest is history. Because mm-hmm. now after that is when now my star started to just rise, rise and rise and rise. And, mm-hmm. Um. But in, I honestly, I, I really, truly went through a lot. In fact, mm-hmm. my joining, do you ever by there for real? My purpose found me. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, when I was in Strath second year, just after second year, my mom was not able to continue paying for my fees. Fees mm-hmm. was really high mm-hmm. uh, that time for her. So, and I was very devastated because imagine you're leaving your class, you're seeing your schoolmates, your college mates, just yeah. you know. It's like your mark timing yeah, when people are moving. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is, even this BBIT, I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. I felt like I was forced doing it. I found it hard and difficult mm-hmm. in some ways, in many ways, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, I failed quite a bit um, doing my, my courses. Not that I was mm-hmm. not coming to classes and things like that, but I just did not enjoy it. Sequid Penda, Kabisa. So just mm-hmm. that results in failings and what and what and then even after i'm um, like my mom is like no we can't i can't afford any more uh, i can't afford your fees uh, any longer mm-hmm. i still feel bad because mm-hmm. my mind is we are like i'm programmed mm-hmm. we're supposed to finish all college, college and this go, uh, get a degree get a job like nikod ko you your program to mind yangu and that's why i usually say for real at my dropping out of school i thank god that i dropped out because mm-hmm. i uh, that would have been two wasted years. There was a, there was a time I would I would tell myself I probably need to go and just finish for the sake of finishing. But then I questioned myself and I'm like, but then who would I be doing it for? Because I would mm-hmm. not be doing it for myself. Because mm-hmm. people say, no, just go finish. Because you you need to finish. You start something and finish. No, <laughs> if it was not mine, it was not mine. Let me go start something that was mine and finish that thing that uh-huh. is mine. So do you see yourself yeah. now going back to school for something that you exactly. love and finishing it? Exactly. Uh-huh. I would go to school to study directing, mm-hmm. or uh, maybe something else. Just but related do you think to things related to production. To exactly. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe it's in a different way that I know. I'm not um, mm-hmm. um, familiar with at this particular time because I am a producer. Mm-hmm. I am an actress or a p- performer, producer. Music is part of what I do. Mm-hmm. Let's get to that music, and by yeah. the way. <laughs> when did you start singing? I started singing after, I better do after high school. I would um, just, you too, quite your fees, yeah, hype, hype, nini. you know, when you're a young in and you're just, you know, music is a thing when yeah. you're young, you know. And you want to try your hands at creating, you know, just the creating versus consuming is dynamically different. Yeah. When you're creating, yeah. you feel there's just some level of satisfaction that I cannot explain mm-hmm. uh, vis-a-vis just listening to music. Yeah. yeah? So, yeah, but Neo too kujaribu, apakule, apakule. But I actually came to realize that I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I recorded, I've recorded some, no, a number of songs, I've done covers. I mean, my music is, if you can to YouTube, Wangalia Morin, you'll find music. Mm-hmm. That I've what's, your, what's your genre? My genre. Mm-hmm. I honestly, I don't limit my genre, but I've tried, uh, I've, I've experimented with Afro house uh, music. I've, I've experimented with Afro pop, mm-hmm. but I really want to. Music is something that I, I never want to lock myself at. I would love to just try different things, but um, I, would, I would say my. 
my uh, my vision would largely in coming coming what times mm-hmm. i would say my music would align more with the african african traditions african uh, rhythms and mm-hmm. sounds mm-hmm. that's what i would really really want to e- explore a, a little bit more mm-hmm. yeah because i've done a lot of music for on us cat yes you at this crazy house ndio iko in eh house chapa na chapa house chapa house eh atini genge si juu ni Okay Genge is local but we've been doing a lot of this street kwaito you know mm-hmm. you you find now like a Kenyan is doing a kwaito so you you are following sound. the trends so I've been following trends for the mm-hmm. most part and I don't I feel like I've not really really explored my my identity mm-hmm. in terms of my musical expression so um and but then I'm not also saying that I we shouldn't do pop or afro pop or afro yeah. house or whatever like if you want to combine kwaito and you know uh afro beats mm-hmm. and what and make it and kenyanize it or something like do you mm-hmm. do you cheza kama wewe uh, but me I'm, a, i'm an advocate of africa and being pro pro who we are and just mm-hmm. to 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 explore tamaduni zetu nini you know our sounds our ideas our i think that is where the gold yeah. is mm-hmm. if if you want to create something authentic, authentic yes. go african True. now I listened to your music on YouTube. Mm. And first your voice is so amazing. Mm, thank you. <laughs> and I see you doing a lot of music in a different way, mm. like scores mm. for film, exactly. for what do we say, for documentaries, documentaries. and all uh-huh. that. Uh-huh. And I think because you are a producer, director, actor and all that, you will flourish exactly <laughs> do you do you see yourself doing it absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely um i've really been trying to you know I, i'm the kind of person who i like i don't like to follow mm-hmm. i like to lead i would say i'm a, um deep down I, i feel i'm a leader even when i talk to you like right now just a few minutes ago talking to you about how i was the only person in my class mm-hmm. uh you know just cause all those other girls were not doing drama did not stop me from pursuing what i knew was my my deal yeah so i'm um, the, the the kind of person i am is napenda kustand kufanya kitu yangu yani yeah um and even if we're doing it as a collective because i also very much believe in partnership and coming together and working together teamwork mm-hmm. uh i still feel i lazmani lazma lazmani and a vision yangu pia you know my ideas uh, i need to see them through in one way or the other so and in that way i feel that's the reason what, that is that is what really pushed me into the creating you know vis-a-vis just being a performer yeah nimekuwa pia producer mm-hmm. where i'm now creating my own concepts mm-hmm. um you know my own ideas and 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 just to tell our stories yeah. as a producer mm-hmm. yeah but and so um i think music vile na yona i think i'll explore i i can't say right now my my just in t- you know right now space nyani ko ni content create mm-hmm. so i don't think about it as just music alone aha uh-huh. or uh performance alone mm-hmm. I think about it whole, whole, wholesomely in mm-hmm. terms of creating as a whole several stuff at yeah, the same time. In the creating in the creating uh, s- s- this, this spe- uh, spectrum oh, kuna yeah. music kuna mm-hmm. kuna performance kuna I mean this everything is in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's there's business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the business of I'm actually very passionate about the business of film and trying to fix like we're trying to crack this thing called the film business which I mm-hmm. feel in many ways we still we're not there. We're, we're not, not yet there, there quite yeah. quite mm-hmm. there. Yeah, so kuna biashara ya filamu, kuna mziki filamu, kuna kuna tamaduni or tradi- or culture, there's the cultural angle or aspect of film, there's the information mm-hmm. aspect of like film icona or it's street, wide, it's wide eh? yeah. so all these things i'm trying to see how i can place them so of course music will definitely apply um eventually or one way uh, or the other definitely uh-huh. yeah okay uh, back in 2013 mm-hmm. you won an nvca yeah. <laughs> and then i think you you are among the first guys to have won it because it was the first mvcs and yeah. 
there Kamorin mm-hmm. winning best supporting actress mm-hmm. how did that change your life uh, that thing by the changed my life in so many ways i feel mm-hmm. number one i never i never believed i would uh, i know p- many people say that anyway mm-hmm. Some people win big awards and they're like i didn't know i would win mm-hmm. but to be honest i'm just just being honest mm-hmm. missy kwa jiona at sasa at mimi africa mzima <laughs> Na uliji uliji submit ama Samuel else submit submitted it for you. It's someone else who submitted for me. It's ah. my producer um uh, then uh, Dorothy Getuba, mm-hmm. uh producer wa Lies and Bind. You know, submit. Mm-hmm. And then Sasanika win. Of course, I'm very grateful for the opportunity and for the submission and for the yeah, for the opportunity that she presented through that show. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I did not expect See, mimi hata niki mimi hata the bigger thing is i don't know i've seen this a number of times mm-hmm. different places but mimi ku pata hiyo nomination I was more than the nomination itself and the award or what i was excited ku panda ndege cuz siko ni panda ndege so i was like i didn't ah nominate ah yeah i've been nominated but yo dude i'm going to be on like i'm going to be flying for my and first internationally. and internationally so that was mm-hmm. my first time flying that was that meant i think more like and then being there in that country nigeria is just the bomb mm-hmm. it's an awesome place so i just i don't know for me for me people have different viewpoints but i just honestly if i was to be an um if i was to be a a, a citizen of another african country i would definitely choose nigeria like i would be kenyan and then nigerian second and then others maybe <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how much i love i loved it there and i've been there again like mm-hmm. after after amvcs mm-hmm which i won and i was like so gobs like i could not believe it like i cried nini big looked f- funny on camera cuz i was so surprised mm-hmm. yeah but that was it was a huge deal and it wow. did a lot for me honestly i i i remember even when i went back to nigeria working on a series called uh, deceptive measures mm-hmm. Uh, the producer who casted me was like actually one of the reason why i casted you was cuz we won amvc so i was like oh real? wow Okay, mm-hmm. okay, so extreme inside, yeah, extreme inside, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um but I mean it's, it was not the only thing. Of course I there's the whole audition process, you know, um, I had to fit the role, the, yeah. the character brief and everything like that, but in a sign here, I want ni kitu poa. In a in a in a in a it is a mark, there's a stamp of approval. Yeah. That it so gives. it it boosts your uh, profile. In a boost, it boosts profile, your profile. So I mean submit all for these things, eh? um and moving forward i would say um i think even mo- i'm not saying there's anything wrong with uh international awards and festivals mm-hmm. but could we submit to our own local first like yeah s- s- i don't see how we- i would do a film for the international for an international festival or awards and i haven't yet submitted to a local one first kwangu mimi ni make sense Because I'm like, I mean, then why are we create? Okay, fine, you can be creating for maybe a different audience. That, but that would perhaps would make sense. But I think for me is let's see the value in our own brands yeah. before we see value. Like maybe before ni submit film yangu Oscars, lazima ni kuni mesa ni mesa submit kalasha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because why why can't we see our kalasha mm-hmm. as an Oscar? Mm-hmm. Why can't we see it as the be all, do all like this? Mimi oh, kalasha. Was, you know i was saying recently there's also a, a kitale film festival mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i'm like wow mm-hmm. i didn't know mm-hmm. but this is good to hear. exactly yeah. kunal dorret yeah. dorret film festival ah, yeah it's okay. huge actually it's yeah. big yeah I and it's been know. going on, going on for a number of years now mm-hmm. there's so many f- local film festivals let's submit to the these uh, festivals and awards um, locally and also regionally um, within africa Yeah, to Jigroishe, sisi kawa Afrika maze. Yeah. Wewe ni nini filamu fulani ya Hollywood wakimaliza ku film, wana submitting kalasha. I highly doubt. Yeah. <laughs> highly they start doubt. with their own circuit. Yeah, they start yeah. with their own circuit and they actually end it there. I don't think yeah. they. Okay. Or maybe not, European. Not, maybe Europe, eh. Kidogo. Kidogo Europe, <laughs> sijui nini. And I'm not trying to be nationalistic. I'm not trying to be nationalist. I'm just trying to say let's be we can do it our stuff is good mm-hmm. i assure you like to kona vitu poa vitu kali so to groishe ma brands zetu kuliko trying to you know go, you know trying to go and look for greener pastures outside like our greener pastures are here people from uko 
ile majiwa wanakuja local wanakuja Africa yeah. cause Africa ndio kuna opportunity hapa ndio kuna opportunity so tusiangalie uko nje sana hata kabla hujaangalia kwako home yeah let's conquer home let's grow home yeah, mm. yeah. was it your dream working in lollywood um i think my dream had been at that time i remember my dream had been more to work with hollywood <laughs> than nollywood mm-hmm. um not to say that um nollywood was never ever in my dreams or you know potential mm-hmm. as something i would want to be a part of mm-hmm. but it's just there's so much that represented um uh, my dreams my just my overall dreams and my imaginations in terms of who i wanted to be in through hollywood the stories that we got from hollywood you know they, mm-hmm. they were big with superpowers and there's all yeah. these superman and batman and just amazing stories very well done also yeah, yeah? and yeah. then of course nollywood was still struggling with quality at that time mm-hmm. uh in a to a fair degree mm-hmm. right now it's nollywood hollywood i would say they've married in terms of quality they, they yeah. have absolutely beautiful wonderful quality uh but uh once i went there i realized that um they actually inspired me i feel nollywood inspired um the producer in me Uh number one, they are, they are very uh I don't know what the quality is in one word mm-hmm. but essentially they they use what they have to create what they want or what they need. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. You exactly. start where you they are. They start where they are and they build up on it mm-hmm. so gradually slowly and in time you find they've accomplished so much as opposed to how I used to think about it before was no no no, no everything has to be the right. Like on the same Uh, fragile line you know yeah, yeah. parallel kila kitu lazima ikuwe straight 100% no that's not how life works you kind of yeah. have to start somewhere and that's how i feel nollywood has really inspired me and now i feel even more than ever i i, I would say my aspirations to work with nollywood are just as much as how i would want to work with say uh hollywood yeah mm-hmm. um they are very inspiring uh, uh, so i would say that that's how i would answer that uh, question in terms of I think inwardly I I had always wanted to work with Holly Nollywood just that I didn't know it yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh-huh. the exposure it's, it's almost as if they called me before I before you were ready to go. I was go. ready for uh-huh. exactly, but then and in that way I was able to um you know they they they, they were in my heart. They got into my heart. Mm-hmm. and mind and so, and now I definitely would love to work much more with them. Yeah. Yeah, with the Nollywood industry. They they're very very I mean this awesome people very bl- not loud but they're very they're out there yeah, yeah they're, they're out there like they speak they make their voices known they uh and i mean oh, they they work hard for sure they yeah. do work hard yeah. when you look at essay industry right now mm. it's like a uh hollywood industry in africa mm. uh, top quality now the quality that you really wanted mm. is now in south africa uh, have you ever thought of doing something in sa sa i think more than just looking at it as one particular country mm-hmm. i i just i want to work with africa wholesomely mm-hmm. like not just one country like i want to go to congo mm-hmm. i want to go to togo mm-hmm. i want to go to egypt i want to go and explore our stories like Africa we are one we literally one all these boundaries and you know um boundaries with this with with um, marked off and call them countries actually boundaries we found exactly <laughs> in fact one we we found exactly we found meaning they were not made by us no they were not they made don't by belong us. to us yeah if you look at our history where i come from for instance as a kalenjin um, it dates back to egypt So we come from Egypt as a people as the Kalenjin people. Mm-hmm. When you look at the I mean we we come from we are brothers and sisters essentially that's what I'm trying to say. So we have more or less of a common ancestry when you look at our traditions and cultures they're mm-hmm. so similar mm-hmm. just you know in terms of our familial relations societal relations and maybe just all these other things mm-hmm. that relate to our culture and her- heritage they're so similar yeah. as African. So I would want to explore that as a collective not even as a collective as one because we are one yeah, we are not yeah. many entities mm-hmm. into one we're just we are one we we, we are one we're people divided, divided yeah. and now borrowing <laughs> a lot of things from each other exactly yeah. so i feel just having that in mind 
I would really just of course starting with home like I am exploring our stories and if we just to talk about the stories we have to tell as Kenyans let's even just start as you as a like a kikuyu me uh, no no not as a kikuyu but as let's say kalenji for example for example some. someone else as kikuyu mm-hmm. um stories of kikuyu mob stories yeah. of wajakani mob wakamba mob wakale then now we tell our stories as kenyans then now mm-hmm. we tell our stories as east africans then yeah. bado kuna tz you gcg like for real like we have so much yeah we have so much um yeah so much work to do and stories to tell and i guess it's just aligning ourselves and just mm-hmm. being diligent enough to actually start and decide okay i'm going to do this i'm going to dedicate myself to this life yeah into this career and just go with it mm-hmm. so i think yeah um eventually uh when the opportunity presents itself to go to sa and like specifically in sa mm-hmm. do something there i would love to for sure uh but i don't look at it as want to, want to go to South Africa want to go to the same way I used to look at Hollywood I'm just like holy grail I just want to go to Hollywood like what do you want do you want spinach or kuku for supper no I just want to go to Hollywood <laughs> that's how I used to be uh sometime back but I realized we are not Hollywood I'm like yeah as a people as a humanity we are one for sure again we are brothers and sisters even with Hollywood and all you know white people black people red people we are one yeah but I think um before i conquer the world i want to conquer home mm-hmm. before i love out i want to love within yeah. yeah uh and so just thinking about that i'm just like i want us to just i want africa to be known like there's so many there's so much there's still so much narratives stereotypical narratives that i have uh, that have never been uh told. debunked mm-hmm. i would say told and debunked mm-hmm. yeah you go to uh, any european country right now you just ask the normal street person someone walking on the street what do you think about africa they'll tell you disease you darkness and i don't know mm-hmm. i don't know what sickness yeah. hiv those things They, people are still there like you would be so people surprised are thinking like we are really suffering yeah we are not denying we are suffering in some ways in some ways but you, we are not extra suffering <laughs> let me tell you like right now you look at so many places in africa uh let's just start with even just the capital cities in africa and the capital cities in let's say in any western country you you would not even Not yeah you will confuse them you will confuse yeah f- for real but f- they they are so stuck up on um i think it has a lot to it it also has a lot to do with um what's it called uh, they have been fed fed exactly it's almost as if they have no other option like what other stories are there being told about africa apart from let's say blood diamond you get blood diamond yeah. came like when when other people tell our stories they'll come and tell it from their perspectives so they'll yeah. come and talk yeah. about blood diamond or terrorism sijui nini mm-hmm. all these the pirates mm-hmm. so they know us as pirates sick people who kill each other for diamonds and like I'm sorry if I if I if I'm sounding so <laughs> no dark and yeah um, but that's not what I want to do. I don't I don't want to evoke feelings and emotions of oh my goodness oh my goodness it's crazy no 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 we've actually come a long way mm-hmm. but we just need to do a bit more uh and the role of storytelling and film is still present mm-hmm. the role that we know Hollywood or America as it is through culture uh they we know of their culture through their entertainment yeah we know of how mimi naweza kuambia vile ka street flani ya US inaka juu tu nimeona films enough even a city you just know that is Seattle yeah, San Francisco that is New York, yeah that you is can San tell. Francisco yeah. Yeah. never been there never been but there. you know but you know mm-hmm. exactly you you would not confuse San Francisco from LA for instance yeah. or you know if you just saw some of those landmarks and buildings and what not so the same way the role of film still stands in um promoting our identity our pride as yeah. africans so we have to rise up to that occasion yeah. yeah and i think only africans can do that only africans can we, do it we cannot leave to foreigners to, to tell our stories exactly what would you say is your biggest career milestone hmm. <laughs> wow that's a trick question <laughs> biggest career milestone 
I think I would say um, biggest career milestone. I think my my career milestones would be I I would say that different things show me of my growth and progress different mm-hmm. things. So it's not just one thing that will say yes you've done it you've you're growing you're getting there you you know. Mm-hmm. So I think the first and foremost I would say is the fact that I am I have realized that I have become fearless as a person. Mm-hmm. My confidence has really grown through my art. And just through practicing, like right now, you put a f- camera in front of me. I'm just like, "Hi, camera!" You know, <laughs> used to be a time when I would look at a camera, I would just be like, "Automatically dark." <laughs> <laughs> Try to hide. <laughs> I would, you know, my palpitations mm-hmm. in my chest. I would freak out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel my my work as an artist has done that for me. Like my my confidence has just gone through the roof. Mm-hmm. just because of my work um i think other ways i would judge my uh growth as a performer or as a, even as a person is okay of course there's the awards you, you know you get nominated for this and that mm-hmm. i remember some of the awards that have really meant a lot to me of course amvca mm-hmm. being that i i didn't even know myself i didn't even know i could be that and then i got an, an amvca nomination and i was Uh, I think that also kind of contributed to me being like okay I think there's actually a chance for a me stamp. this this yeah this I'm um, I'm meant to be here and I'm meant to do this so and then uh, the other one would be this last 2021 I was nominated for a pro- pro- uh, comedy producer mm-hmm. in uh, at the Kalasha Awards 2021 so oh, wow. a comedy producer of mm-hmm. the year or whatever yeah of the year for for which show It was called the extremities. The extremities are a show about hands and feet and everything. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll relate to the audience later on where they can find uh, my work. So when I got that nomination, I I had come from a, a bit of a dark place whereby I didn't really believe in my abilities as a content creator. I didn't think was my I used to not not, not that I didn't think. I used, I would doubt that my work was good enough. Mm-hmm. I remember even submitting uh when I submitted um my work for the Kalasha awards that time. I was actually just doing it like a almost as if I was on autopilot just doing it for the sake of like people do it let's so let's see. see yeah. Mm-hmm. Then in even then when the nominations list came out, I didn't check. Ah, I didn't check. I was just like, like. what's the point? <laughs> It's someone else who called me. Then they're like, "Congrats." I'm like, Congrats like what do you mean? You've been nominated. In fact, you have two nominations this year. The I don't know what say what now? <laughs> wow. And part of the reason why I didn't believe in myself came from a bit of a it was a bit of a tough uh experience that I had with someone who I had called a mentor. This uh someone who I really looked up to in the industry. I had gone to um seek some um potential partnership with them. Mm-hmm. Uh so I decided, oh you know I'm a creator, I have this idea and this 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 and I think we should work together and they really really made me feel small that you cannot do you, who who ah. am who are you to 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 work with me, you know? Like really? Yes. It is easier for them to just turn you down and say no, mm-hmm. I'm mentoring others. Mm-hmm. I can't mm-hmm. deal with you now. Mm-hmm. Instead of reducing you, mm-hmm. why go to that extent? I, I remember th- there's a line sh- uh, that the person said um they said you you have done nothing. And just that nothing that it's almost sort of o- almost echoed over and over in my head that you have done nothing, you are nothing, you can do nothing like uh-huh. n- so nothing was just river 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 nothing nothing nothing. Mm-mm. So that led me to and I had r- Macu at that time I'm um, this producer in my mind I'm I'm producing I'm I'm a content yeah. creator so mm-hmm. and I have work I'm trying to create work uh, award winning or uh, work that has impact real yeah. impact yeah. out there and then you go and tell, tell someone that they will tell me what, and this is someone who's supposed to be your mentor like I you look up to them kabisa yeah, yeah. like tell me someone you they would have just rather turn yeah. you down mm-hmm. and then you find someone find else than to reduce you to, to some, something yeah, else exactly so that coming from that background and 
Um, yeah, I remember it was so bad. I just came out. Of, I was crying. I just, I think I cried for like I don't know two days or three. Days. I don't know, like all along. Okay. I'm not, not like continuously, blah, but I mean, it was emotional. But you keep on re- you, you remembering, and then it just hurts. Yeah, more. it really hurts you. So um, I think, but I, I really thank God that I found the strength to continue, mm-hmm. one way or the other. I found my strength. Let me, co- let me just, let me keep on. Mm-hmm. And then when I got that nomination, you the b- so you are a ma- the, and I remember on the nominations list was. Varshita, uh, what's her name? The the the, the producer Varshita. Uh, um, Nani, Eve de Souza. Eve de Souza. Mm-hmm. There was, I mean, there was big wigs. Yeah. I was nominated who, who, alongside. Who you look up to? Who like you your look mentor. up to? Like these are the. the I mean, wame fika wow. I th- even X Y Z was. Yeah. I was nominated oh, along, so, alongside uh, X Y Z. Exactly. Yeah. And when that happened, I just told God, by the way, thank you for giving me. And that's why I really believe in our own local brands. And I want our own local... Because a local brand did that for me. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. why I believe in what we can do. We, mm-hmm. we, are, go- we are capable. We mm-hmm. are able. We are worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All local brands, even you as a brand, yeah. you are just as good as any other uh, podcast brand out there. You're yeah. just as capable. So never ever look down upon yourself with Jenga. Leona sema mimi ni mzimizi. Sijafikia JZ. JZ is bigger. Apana, apana. You're not bigger than JZ. JZ is not bigger than you. We you have your own expression, your own way. We're so different as artists, my yeah. goodness. I could be um 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 uh, maybe a reality producer or a comedy producer. Like if you if if, if you just looked at the 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 nominations list for just for the comedy we're so different like xyz yeah. versus classmates yeah classmates was also one of the nominee versus Varsh- so different but it's so all different comedy. but it's all comedy yeah, yeah we have different expressions so i feel yeah i think i'm i'm i tend to go you know big 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 into just my 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 responses but my my point is there's different things that make my 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 uh that that have inspired my identity and my pride mm-hmm. as a content creator yeah so awards again that's again i believe in awards it's good it's a good thing mm-hmm. um so again keep on keep on going ata kama ume kuna mtu aliku discourage excuse kuna ime mia teacher wa math teacher wa math hapa ni wapi hapa ni wapi hapa ni wapi mwalimu wa math hapa ni wapi so um but and then and again shout out to all teachers out there not all teachers are bad mm-hmm. and it's not just teachers who put people down even normal day to day other types of you know even religious people put might be putting someone some, someone out there down even a math or whatever it, you know, it's not just limited to teachers yeah but my point is let's uplift one another mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. to jengane to see Sana. let's not tear each other down Sana. yeah let's mm-hmm. uplift one another yeah so yeah relic house a pro, your production company yes. what are some of the shows you have produced you under produce the relic production house. company So there's uh there's the one I've just talked about which is the extremities uh it's a show about hands and feet like talk, talking hands and feet what would your hands and feet say mm-hmm. if they would if they had a voice mm-hmm. it's an awesome show you can find it on biz 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 by safaricom that's where you can watch it right now but yeah so there's like the extremities uh there's age of grace which is a show we shot back in 2018 it's never come out really but it's mm-hmm. something we would love to revisit and um reshoot or something mm-hmm. and then these through my lens through my lens is a documentary se- more it's called Maureen Koech through my lens it's a mm-hmm. documentary series mm-hmm. uh that um whereby i i i document my career in real time mm-hmm. and i illustrate i inspire i teach anything and everything film performance especially in regard to acting mm-hmm. yes yeah, so it's camera mini mimi na shikilia camera so through my lens mm-hmm. uh and the show is actually in fact season 3 will be launching soon on cast tv and biz so you can catch that uh, if you want to watch everything at once ngia biz kama una kama wewe mtu wa episode by episode utaangoja hapo cast tv kidogo but mm-hmm. you can follow me on social media at morin coach mm-hmm. and all information i'll be posting i'll be updating Uh, so there's uh, those three I would say for now um, but I'm definitely looking forward to this quite there's a huge project we're still again working on mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to talk about it right yeah, now don't jinx it no, never ever never but the, and there's still a lot more work that we're going to do out there 
so yeah wow nice yeah thank nice. you <laughs> what is the best part of being an actor best part about being an actor is you get to live out uh different you get to you get to have you get to be a cat <laughs> at the very at the very least mm-hmm. you get to you get to experience um different emotions you get to experience different personalities mm-hmm. you get to empathize like i think as an actor you truly truly learn how to empathize mm-hmm. as a person because i can be out there i've played a prostitute mm-hmm. i've played Uh, I mean okay. My I I've, I tend to be typecast a lot for some reason. Like I'm given those two bitchy roles. So, yeah, even as a bitchy diva, mm-hmm. I I can still empathize for a bitch. Like I would look, you know, maybe a, a trending topic on maybe social media and it's yeah. this, you know, diva some mm-hmm. yeah, for lack of a better word. I don't want to say that B word, but uh I would Instead of judging I would be like ni nini nafanya huyu mtu mtu a behave hivyo ama afanye hivyo una get cuz wewe kama actor kuna vile ume you know something about yeah. what they might what might lead to them being that or you know um reacting or behaving in a specific type of way but I would say uh, so you you get to experience and to empathize and to be different to live out different lives or personal let me call it personalities because you can't live an entire life just by being a character but apart from you know method actors take it a, a bit far they, you know they embrace it they really, too much yeah too much what kind of cause a mental issue mm-hmm. uh, another issue another thing i would say a benefit of being an actor mm-hmm. i think i get to travel i love traveling mm-hmm. and so just my line of my line of like for instance i may be i think this one i can say i can pro- pro- possibly announce it ikijinksika mm-hmm. it's not my fault ah <laughs> mina sema kwani ko nini so i'll be on the judging panel of uh, africa's campus battle this season mm-hmm. season 5 mm-hmm. so we'll go to different counties mm-hmm. to um to be a part of young people upcoming talents yeah and to help them so i, I don't look at judging as you are talented you are not no 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 it's we are all talented how you can be better is this 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 you are talented how you can be better is this that's it that's yeah. what a judge is and that's how my judgment I would all, I would never be one want to do it the Simon Cowell way I'm not saying it's the right way I'm not mm-hmm. saying it's it's a bad the, way the, the wrong way mm-hmm. I'm just saying everyone has their own way but my way I would want to to be more of the encourager mm-hmm. I would never want to tell someone you are you're bad at doing this and that mm-hmm. So yeah, anyway. Ni me digress then, but ni sawa. So uh we get to travel. I love traveling. Napenda road trips ni msewa. You know, call me up out when you town. have my out of town. <laughs> so I love that. Um and I I guess I I think I get to really be me. Uh, I feel mm, I I I highly doubt these artists who are like they are painting then they like hate this job. Hit. No, job. they won't do it. I they will never take out. what they yeah. hate. Like, yeah. An artist is there because they love it. Like I have honestly, show me. Show me. Mm-hmm. Send me a link <laughs> and show me an artist who hates their job. Yeah. Be it a musician, an actor, yeah. a painter. <laughs> uh, they have to love it for them to they do love it. it. Yeah. yeah. Most uh, so I, I I tend to feel like that artists are are very we are I'm not saying others are not again mm-hmm. but we I feel we are very we are very much favored and blessed and we are happy people mm-hmm. um I'm not saying again we are human I'm, I'm not putting I'm not going to put any words in anybody but that's just my my mm-hmm. feeling I just feel we are a happy people I I love to be with artists and mm-hmm. that's why you but uh, artists lo- love hanging out with artists yeah. you to come the same way doctors love to hang out with doctors so, I mean it's I don't know maybe it's the same kind of yeah um yeah thing but i would say those are the ones i can think of right now mm. yeah <laughs> what's the toughest part of being an actor <sighs> thank you for asking that question <laughs> 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 so yeah so yeah mm. happy but mm-hmm. the journey to happiness is not easy the road mm-hmm. is it corner lions crocodiles mm-hmm. hippos mm-hmm. and buffaloes hey 
That's a dangerous hey. spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're dealing with, mm-hmm. you're dealing with, okay, and and just to look at it from a perspective of the life cycle of a, of an artist, mm-hmm. you deal with number one, you deal with poverty. Poverty in that. Since you didn't buy na poverty na artists, more like, poverty na to terrible. You just pu- your passion pushes you <laughs> during that time, but nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Like mm-hmm. you, you're so passionate about what you do that money is such a non-issue mm-hmm. until it becomes yeah the issue because mm-hmm. we all need money for sure. We have we have to have we have to pay our rents. We have to pay our kids fees yeah. and buy our parents whatever's whatever to take care of our parents. Mm-hmm. So uh, we 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 have to fight poverty more than the normal average person yes. I feel. Yeah. I feel that's just yeah. my feeling. Mm-hmm. Number two, kuna sasa ku deal na vitu na publicity, mm-hmm. you know, especially if you're a young uh, a, a artist no man's ku make it okay wa young. Yeah. Then now you have to deal with mm-hmm. your dreams coming true. It's that whole question of be careful what you ask for because mm-hmm. when you get it uh, And you know what God has a way of making it come exactly, true. Exactly because you do get it. Yes. Yeah, you like God me I just want to act me I just want to be on this show. You get it. You get the show. Kidogo kidogo kila mtu anajua jina yako. Aha, and then starts getting to your head and everything. So now you know and then now there's the influence people are calling you for, you know, drinks and you know maybe okay drugs but I don't know. Perhaps I'm sure these instances. drugs are so many ways. Exactly. Nowadays. Exactly. <laughs> drugs see hata ni kudunga peke yake inaweza kuata ni social media being addicted to social media and being addicted to likes and things like that you know. So aya kidogo kidogo umetoka hapo kuna sasa just finding yourself in art. You know you can you can be get into art you think you love art for art but you don't really know what your purpose as an artist is. Yeah. Yeah. You think you because think you cannot love one part you mm. cannot love the acting mm. and then you remove the publicity exactly. and and the famousness Bus. that is there or the hard work that you need to put exactly mm. exactly and then as an ar- as an artist what is really my end goal like i mean what do i really want to achieve through my art mm-hmm. you see art is a tool ni kama ndo tutengeneze gari tunatumia nini spana you know yeah so art ni spana ya kutengeneza kitu so engineer tool yake ni spana ndio atengeneze gari wewe kama artist tool yako ni art unatengeneza nini sitajibu hiyo swali ni nyinyi mjibu jijibie mhm there's an end goal there's yeah. an there's there a, must be an end goal yeah, exactly you so you have to define that mm-hmm. and if your end goal is fame mm-hmm. if your end goal is money he <laughs> he you will not last <laughs> you won't last you just look for your true and real purpose through art or in art yeah it's actually more through art because art is like i said it's a tool you use to get somewhere or to make something for yourself and last, uh, largely for others yeah mm-hmm. the same way a leader you don't lead yourself to so no. you can you lead you must have followers yeah you become <laughs> a servant yeah, yeah? Pol- politics is actually uh, it's um, it's it's service So through this service what as a politician what what do I want to achieve mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so there's all those questions that I feel in art we don't ask ourselves so much because the because yeah. the tool is such an awesome thing to be in your hands mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and it it gives rise to you know fame the fame yeah. the money so you think that all these things are ah these are these are, this in your ultimate apana mm-hmm. umeshika tu the 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 needs of the tool yeah yeah, yeah. the some of the benefits things that come the benefits the, that come the, the tool. tool exactly so jijue jijue kwa art haya kidogo kidogo umefika pale mbele sijui kuna nini nyingine but those are some of the things <laughs> you know aliwa david yeah. was here mm. and he said uh, what artists need more mm. him being a mentor to many mm. is that sometimes he wishes the training is not about how to act mm. but how to do other things mm. how to save how to behave mm. uh, your progression as you grow mm. so i thought it's an interesting okay. way of looking at yes. it because we concentrate of how do you act go to acting classes how do you audition but you don't take it further to exactly. tools life tools that exactly. the actors need absolutely that yeah. is so true like 
I would want like master class is equal to need how to direct how to write how to mm-hmm. it's it's so much bigger than that mm-hmm. it's it's I mean like I think it's just the same thing what's the end goal kuna and and then what other applications do you need like for instance now we've, t- we've talked about money mm-hmm. I, i would i really i really feel bad when i see a struggling actor mm-hmm. yeah miss penangi kwa actor ki struggle because najua anafanya kitu juu ya passion mm-hmm. yeah na kama na struggle then inamua inamua affect sana ki mentally yeah and you really really struggle i've been there whereby you just you don't have money you really wondering what is what what, what? how mm-hmm. yeah yeah when your name is bigger uh, than your pocket exactly so financial literacy th- in art or within the artistic sp- it's like one of the most in i think it should be like th- before i you, i teach you how to write i think i need to to teach you how to uh, man- man- manage the money fund, management uh, money management yeah. yeah that's why when you even when you go uh, i think the, the reason why i feel uh, education bado mainstream education bado still has a fair place is because when you go do like a course like a course the first first units you'll do very basic critical yeah. thinking yeah Sijui, uh, just even as simple as courses. maths and mm. the languages exactly. like exactly ah. critical okay. thinking kwa maths mm-hmm. mara unapata tangwaje just the, this very basic courses that you pata that's why you find you go start a course you do like you fa- the first after the first year you can still change to another course yeah because you've done everything that every first year has needs been to doing do. exactly yeah. mm-hmm. so there are those very basic um in f- uh, sort of let me call them skills life skills that you need to know though yeah squeeze it on youtube universe i'm a big i love youtube anyway oh yeah it makes things <laughs> easier so much yeah you can still learn, learn some so much of these things on youtube but but find your own way come out to enroll kwa uni ama kwa nini just find your own way of learning but information is everywhere mm-hmm. yeah now in this industry mm. it's very competitive so what do you do to stand out and get those roles first of all i i i barely compete mm-hmm. this is a calling if i've been called why should i compete mm. nice way to look at it yeah mm-hmm. we shouldn't compete in fact we should we should we should we should come together we should mm. like i said your expression as a even as a podcast uh, host and owner is so different from lingugi yeah kona njia yeah. yako mm-hmm. yeah kona njia yake but mm-hmm. and people the same person who's watch there will come and watch you and yeah. the one who's watched you will go watch her because mm-hmm. to kona diff- expressions too different same thing but different so um i feel instead of saying or looking at it as competition I think it's more hmm should I say relevant although I also don't like that word relevant because mm-hmm. relevant to what who decides yeah. what is relevant and yeah. what is not it's very re- yeah. relative yeah because we make people make when you look at let's say fashion we say it, this is in in fashion who But made it who decided who? Eh, <laughs> into who who decided because i can see it and i'm like <laughs> no this is not into me exactly so i think um what i s- i prefer to say for for sure is i do my best and mm-hmm. that is it mm-hmm. i first of all i do i do i i i seek strength from god mm-hmm. god strengthens me mm-hmm. i pray every morning i read i, I get inspiration from him every mm-hmm. single morning namambian but a new fresh grace and fresh mercies for today for me to be able to do my mm-hmm. uh, what you've sent me to do today to start to kwanza na leo Sometimes you wake up you just like why am i feeling confused i go to i pray na mbiago ni particularity for today because mm-hmm. you know about tomorrow mm-hmm. yeah then after today kidogo kidogo you, you have some idea about tomorrow kidogo kidogo you have an idea about next week and yeah. that just like that you find yourself ume you've gone mm-hmm. uh but again for the most part i just i do my best and that is it mm-hmm. i do my best i think big though I th- yeah. i do i don't put limits on myself and what i can do and what others can do Yeah. So I do my best, but I do it big and I think big. Mm. Yeah. Do you have a life partner? Do I have a life partner? <laughs> 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 uh, I would say for sure. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. He's out there somewhere. Ah. <laughs> what does he look like? I have no clue. I have not no, seen like, him. What would you want 
what qualities would you want in this person? Qualities I would mm. want. I would Without want giving out too much because again we're not mm. giving out a, a playbook uh-huh. for them to chocolate. come and tick 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 oh yeah I'm <laughs> the one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I love a certain brand of chocolate but I'm going to say which one. No nisizipate kwa mlango yango alafu niko confused. Yes. <laughs> you know to confuse all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would I think uh what means a lot to me is of course god fearing I, i i i love someone who keeps uh, who sees god as mtu hajioni anaona god kwanza kabla hajioni anaona god in many ways it, it could be in how he sees me or how he relates with me how he relates to other how he relates with others it is it is so ni mse god fearing uh sasa kutoka hapo hmm <laughs> <laughs> of course uh mm-hmm. ambition is good not selfish selfishly ambitious mm-hmm. but ambitious is good it looks good i'll just say the things that look good so me i might not necessarily say this one will take this one will check i'll just say the things that look good is god fearing mm-hmm. ambitious looks good i think yeah be a good dresser things like that D- don't be fake i don't like fake people don't I me mean, i don't believe in faking it till you make it i'm sorry that's just not me i don't believe in that i just believe in being yourself uh being your best and that's it just be someone who's at the truly 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 level best in as again their best not my yeah. best mm-hmm. best yeah okay mm-hmm. mm. nice. so okay. chocolate i wish you all the best kanza mizo acha mungu tu ndio decide but <laughs> I don't know if I can I don't know. I think for me skin is not really an issue. Yeah. <laughs> can be dark yeah. or light or whatever but yeah. Mm. Mm. Lastly, what advice will you give young guys who are actually from high school joining this industry? Mhm. Wow. Wacha tu niweke tu hapo kwenye mimi nilikuwa nimewekwa but I will I will come f- come at it from the opposite side. Mhm. Someone once really put me down uh and told me that I have done nothing but I will tell you out there you have done something all you need to do is believe in yourself you could like you know sometimes we we are being told yeah just start from somewhere you know you you have to, you know keep on going things like that you think it's jokes mm-hmm. imagine by the way it's the truth kama usha make umesha fanya to kama hujafanya kitu anza anza you can't, you can't just be like i'm waiting for the right moment the right word i don't know the right this and that believe in yourself anza kitu ukishaanza iendeleze tu pole 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 tu half a step one step before you know it you've walked a um, hundred miles before you get to your 1000 you've pata you you pata that at that 100 kuna kitu itafanyika hapo kwako ka finish line kia kwanza utapatiwa ka trophy kadogo hiyo mm-hmm. trophy unaweza iuza upate tu senti tu dogo ikusaidie kupata food ya ku travel the next 200 una get before you know it you've gotten to your 1000 mark yeah. so i think my my the thing is uh, just baby steps and keep on going just keep at it keep at it keep at it keep at it I I'm sorry i don't have the grand the most grandiose thing maybe to say if you feel i'm not Ah, uh, inspire. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real, that's what I have in my mind and in my head because I'm also there. I'm actually still at my me I'm still at my 500. Maybe I'm approaching my 554. <laughs> I'm still going to my 1000. And 1000 is not the end. I still have like at, at least a million miles to go. But I'm approaching my 1000 for sure. I'm definitely be, beyond the 100. So but again it's again I mean last money makes stepping in stepping in it's not easy out here. Yeah. It's not easy and then just think big bigger broader. Usifikirie tu like for instance the other day someone sent me the, you know messages I get these messages on, on on social media how can you help me be an actor can you help me uh, have these scripts can you help can you get out there and 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 try it kama ni kukutengeneza movie tengeneza movie na simu anya tu kitu in a small way. Yeah. The moment I um, I think it's James Cameron. Is it James Cameron? Or David, no, it's not David Cameron. It's James Cameron the movie uh filmmaker Producer. for Avatar. Mm-hmm. He said all you need to, for you to call yourself a director is literally to take like just a recorder. Shh. Kitu tu. Nakakata kanika phone, kanika bill. 
just point at something shoot edit it with you, so you you are a director a directing is not to call yourself a director you don't need to be a uh, um to have graduated from universities you don't know what no. apana mm-hmm. apana it's just and even, all, even nowadays mm. directing producing uh cameraman yes youtube group of schools youtube group of schools thank you youtube university yeah mm. and they have the best courses plus uh it's up to date yes it's what people are using now i'm telling you i said that ushkilie dv kam uko i'm telling you so just start where you are with what you have i've never been to film school myself mm-hmm. i've never been to film school um i dare say i'm a kalasha award nominee but i've never been to film school and i take pride in that in saying that because it's it's i had to do something i couldn't just be like i'm i'm a producer and been do nothing i had to try something i've yeah. shot um, uh, content with my phone numerous mm-hmm. times and just i've created with the very basic tools that were handed down to me were given to me and i made something out of that and it became so anza kwenye uko kwenye uko what you have with what you are where you are uh, how you are, some, those ones mm. <laughs> yeah so again so um, i guess also maybe once i wind down i would say um First of all thank you for hosting me. Karibu thank you tena. so much. Maze what's what's say wangu wamekuwa huku. I'm so glad that I'm I'm part of the the team uh, that have graced this beautiful wonderful table. Mm-hmm. Uh so again yeah thank you and God bless you and I pray that God continues to uplift you and your brand and your family in many ways. Thank you. Yes yes and thank you for also supporting her and keep watching share 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 so that we can inspire as many people as possible yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and follow 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 me Maureen Koech uh, my work will be on base a lot thank you base by safaricom and cast tv for always supporting my work those are my uh, wonderful awesome partners so mm-hmm. i'll always be shouting them out so what a kazi yetu we'll do our best to inspire you and help you in however whatever way yeah yeah, yeah. hey umeni wrap it up Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.